I'll try to explain it as best I can why I'm in the situation I'm in, but basically as a, you know, I guess I never thought that my faith in our Lord Jesus Christ would uh, prevent me or stop me or get in the way of me refereeing NBA basketball games. And that's, that's, uh, that's about it in a nutshell, and that's what's happened. And um, not to just me, but other people. Um, we were uh, you know, offered a one-year contract at the beginning of this season. Um, our union, our executive board came to us, came to the staff with a one-year contract. But in that one-year contract, we had to mandate, or, or, or the league was requesting that we mandate all of us taking the vaccine. And um, it was a shock to, to all of us, or to a lot of us, because last year, um, through a, a, a much more difficult time, um, you know, even through the bubble, uh, referees were given the option to either take the vaccine or you could test. Last year, Jason, I, was, I tested four times on game days. And I'm not ashamed of what I'm doing. In fact, I'm very proud of what I'm doing. I'm, I'm very proud of, of, of my faith. I'm very proud. And, and the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing, I think people have to hear that because I think a lot of what I'm, I'm, I'm no different, Jason, than than the truck driver, than the, the school teacher, than the healthcare worker, than the, the, the person working construction, whatever, that, that, they, that they, don't, they don't either medically or, or, or religiously don't feel like taking the vaccine, and now they're being forced to, or else they're gonna lose their job. And I think that's a shame. And, I, and there's, there's many referees that didn't want to take the vaccine. And there's many referees that were forced to because they have children, they have families, and they have bills to pay. And, and um, you know, I'm not going to get into the NBA in their position. You'll have to talk to them. I'm not here to even talk negatively about the NBA, but because that's not why I'm here. I'm here to say that there's a lot of people that didn't want to take this in the NBA that you call it whatever you want, coerced, forced, and now they're taking it. And now there's boosters, and now there's, and they're scared. And, and, and I'm not.